Jean de Alexandros Modiano, member of the City Council of Athens. So a few words about the, the Jewish community in Athens, it's a Jewish community that used to be bigger? No, no, Athens was not much bigger actually, uh, <coughs> because Athens had a small community, and uh, of course we are a small community, around uh, 3,000 uh, members. Uh, other cities uh, like uh, Saloniki and uh, uh, other cities in the north uh, used to have communities that were wiped out by the Shoah. But uh, Athens actually received the remains of communities that uh, are no longer uh, in existence. So, yes, it is a small community. Uh, Athens is big. Uh, Greater Athens is around uh, 4 million people. And the community is 3,000. So, How would you define the, the main challenges of uh, the Jewish community today? I speak as a member of the community. I'm not a community leader. Uh, I perceive the challenges as, uh, actually, it's educational. We have to, to be more uh, active in uh, Jewish education in order to share with our uh, non-Jewish friends around us uh, our cultural specificity. So we have to be more active, uh, especially for our younger members, with communities uh, in neighboring countries and of course with Eretz. Now as a politician who is not officially uh, representing the Jewish community of Athens, um, how do people relate to the fact that you're Jewish? Do they relate to it? No, I'm, uh, any persons have uh, many dimensions. You can be a cook, you can be a poet, you can be a cyclist, you can be an engineer, uh, you can follow this or that football uh, team and have uh, other activities as well. I was a candidate that happened to be Jewish. I was not the Jewish candidate, so people did not vote for me because I'm Jewish or did not not vote for me because uh, I'm Jewish. I just happened to be Jewish and uh, it's part of my ID. Now we're seeing the issue of uh, refugees also here, and is there an increase in uh, Muslim presence? Uh, first of all, the, the Muslim wave, there is an influx of refugees. Most of them are Muslim. Uh, some are Christians because there are, there are Christian minorities in Arab countries who also suffer because of the radicalization. Uh, there are Christians in Syria, but not in Afghanistan, but they are from many countries uh, refugees. Uh, they are not here as uh, Muslims, they are here as refugees. And uh, for the time being, we're talking about half a million people, they only seek a safe passage. They do not intend to establish here, to stay here. Nevertheless, we have uh, communities uh, much larger in numbers than our community were here, but it's not an organized uh, Muslim presence. For instance, Athens has no mosque. There's no mosque in Athens. And uh, there's no mosque because there was never a tradition of having uh, a Muslim community. Now, what can you tell us about uh, what we see here in terms of anti-Semitism? Well, the <coughs> anti-Semitism is not related uh, to the Muslim presence as it could be supposed in uh, Western European countries with uh, organized Muslim communities, no, not at all. Our anti-Semitism is uh, cultural and political. There is anti-Semitism in the left wing, uh, with BDS movement, with uh, considering uh, the uh, Israeli-Palestinian conflict uh, and taking part for uh, those who are not uh, for the safe existence of Israel and so on. You also have uh, traditional anti-Semitism in the extreme right and we have a, an extreme right party both in the city council and the national parliament. Uh, they're part of the landscape. Uh, they're there. <clears throat> it's not uh, something you can deny that uh, they're part of the electorate. We have to propose uh, solutions uh, that will make people vote for other parties, not for them, in the next elections. And can you fight it with a relatively small Jewish community? Uh, fighting anti-Semitism is not a question that uh, only matters to the Jews. Fighting anti-Semitism is the duty of uh, any democratic citizen. So the progressive uh, 
it's in European parties in our country are fighting in the same in the same way they're fighting uh, uh, neo-Nazism or pure Nazism and fascism and uh, trying to protect uh, human rights for all citizens. So we should not consider even ourselves that this is only our playground. Uh, Anti-Semitism is an issue that covers all society and all democratic institutions. Alexandros Modiani, member of the City Council of Athens, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.